Peace everyone, Unmaskard here, and welcome to the Drawing Journal. I have a lot of new subscribers, so I thought I'd explain what this video series is, just so you know, and to update anybody that's been watching. So what this video series is, is just a weekly drawing journal. Uh, basically, I draw in real time. You can ask me questions in the comments, and I'll try to get to them in the following week's video. And I cover everything from drawing tips to coloring tips, anything, uh, field any questions that you have. And um, yeah, tell you about my weekend, tell you about plans that are coming up for my channel, things like that. This past week, I did the 10 minute painting challenge. And as you can see here, uh, this is the results of the first uh, attempt at the 10 minute drawing challenge. Uh, however, I did do a little bit more off camera um, because so many people liked the first attempt uh, and, and I got, I kept getting the same comment over and over again to, to spend a little bit more time on this piece because people liked it so much. Uh, and if you watch the video, uh, you know that I didn't like it at all. Um, in fact, I kind of hated it. But uh, so since so many people liked it, I decided why not spend a little bit of time on it. And so that's what I'm going to do for this drawing journal. Um, and I probably, maybe I'll work uh, on it, the following drawing journal as well. But we'll just see how it goes. Um, yeah, I, the second attempt, uh, personally, I felt was was much better, and uh, it was a, yeah, it was a fun fun project, and I definitely enjoyed it, and uh, I have a ton of things planned coming up in the following week, um. And so I'm excited to start all these new projects that I have. I have a couple collaborations to look out for for this month. Um, so this this week I will have the time lapse for the portrait that I recently did and shared um, on Instagram and Facebook and stuff. So if you haven't seen that portrait, then you can go over to my Facebook page or Instagram and, and check it out. Um, but I will be doing a special hour long or, or more, hour or more uh, tutorial on doing colored pencil portraits. And uh, yeah, I hope that uh, it goes well and people find it helpful. It, it's a, it's a very long process, but uh, I'm going to do something a bit more detailed as far as the tutorial goes, and it's going to be a, a long, long video. It will be out next week, though. Next week, probably Tuesday. I'm not entirely sure. It just depends on how much I get done this week, because uh, I have a lot of projects planned. And yes, so I'm just going to be working on this and I'm going to be doing the mountains. Hopefully I'll be able to finish the mountains in this video. And um, as you can see, I did, I redid the sky and I think it, I think it looks a lot better, much smoother, more consistent. It, it kind of, I don't know, to me, it kind of looks like a moon now for some reason. The sky is a bit dark, but uh, hopefully once I finish this other part, it will look more like a sunset. I just need to add the right colors down here to, to get that effect. The right pinks and reds and things. And uh, yeah, I was actually considering, I, I don't know, it, it might, it might be, pointless, but I was actually considering giving this piece away, maybe doing a, doing a giveaway. I've, I've never done a giveaway, so I thought, why not give a piece that 
everybody, a lot of people liked, and I didn't really like. But yeah, you can you can let me know in the comments what you think about doing a giveaway for this piece after I finish it. A lot of people really liked the silhouette um, that I did for this uh, for this piece, and I think that's why they liked it more than the other, more than the second attempt version of this piece. But I don't really know. They just liked it. What I'm going for, for the mountains here, is just kind of like that foggy, that foggy mist look that you that you see when you actually are in the mountains. Um, not sure how many of you have been to the mountains during the late night or the really early morning. I have a few, actually I have a, quite a few photographs because um, last year, uh, just around this time maybe, I went and uh, with a friend and we climbed uh, what mountain was that? Mount Pilchuck. Yeah, Mount Pilchuck. I have the time lapse of the sunrise, actually. Um, we went, gosh, it was, uh, we, we left my house at midnight. And it takes about two and a half hours to um, climb the mountain. And uh, we, we got to the mountain the base of the mountain around 1.30 in the morning. And so we climbed this mountain uh, as fast as we could so that we could get there before sunrise. And fortunately enough, we, we ended up getting there before sunrise and it was absolutely amazing. And I got tons of photos. I just, I mean, I was snapping photos every second, but I have every step of the sunrise and it was just perfect. Because the summit of the mountain faces um, east, like the trail that is there to to walk up, it faces east. So you get the sun sunrise side, um, and I didn't even know this before going there. It was actually my first time to the to going to this trail and going to this mountain, and I climbed it at uh, two o'clock in the morning, but. Um, yeah, just the most amazing photos I've ever taken. And um, so you, you get this kind of like faded color kind of look in the mountains. And it's just amazing. I, I, I didn't stay all day till sunset or anything, but I certainly, certainly could have. But it, was, it would have been uh, on the opposite side that I was when I went. Um, so I don't know if being there at sunset would be all that magnificent, not nearly as magnificent as the sunrise, but yeah, so that's what I'm going for with these mountains. And I'm just putting the base coat down with markers and then I'm gonna go back over it with colored pencils. And um, yeah, you can kind of see it coming to life a little bit more than it was. I mean, that's uh, one of the things that when it comes to working with um, anything, any medium, is is being patient and just taking your time with, with your piece. I mean, I originally did this piece in 10 minutes, and you can see how wonderful my trees look here. And um, then I spent you know, another... 15 minutes just doing the sky making sure that the sky looked better um and it's it's the sky is much 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 better than what it started and um everything is more consistent and smooth and, and it just makes more sense to the eye as far as the colors go and uh, everything just looks more well balanced and pleasing
getting a little bit of smudging with the ink here. It's kind of weird, actually. I don't know why that's happening. The ink shouldn't be doing that, but it is. I don't like it. You can see I got a big smear right there. That was actually during the challenge that I got that. So. so there, there's the mountains, a little bit nicer looking. Um, now I'm gonna switch to colored pencils and hopefully I'll be able to get those mountains to look um, more, more consistent, more smooth and more of what I'm looking for as far as colors. I, if you've never used markers um, and then colored pencils over it, I, oh gosh, I have to, I have to recommend that you get at least one pack of markers. Um, you, I, I have to recommend either these, um, these Pantone Tria markers. Um, if you live in, if you live in Europe, they're much easier to get. Um, however, the uh, because they're made here in Europe, but um, however, if you're in the United States, they're actually cheaper to get than if you get them directly, uh, or if you get them in Europe and you live in Europe, like myself. Um, but yeah, you can order them offline from their website. You just Google it, or you just make it easy on yourself and go get a pack of uh, Copic markers, which I can always recommend. But using, using markers in combination with colored pencils is probably my favorite way to just create art. It's so fast and it's so easy. The, the, just the way that the colored pencils work with markers on, on top of them is just it's just fantastic. I absolutely love it. The, the effects that you can get um, and just the ease that the colored pencil goes on the paper after laying down a nice coat of markers is just great. It's just fantastic. And the saturation that you get, that's the other thing that I really like. So, I mean, on top of the, the saturation and the colors that you get with just the markers themselves, it boosts the, the color saturation that you get with the colored pencils. And I've used this, I've used the technique of like using colored pencils as an undercoat. And even if you just get the gray, just gray uh, markers, gray tone. Cause I started off with just a, a pack of like 10, which was just the warm gray tones uh, by Copic. And I used that in a few of my older time lapses of gems. Um, if you search galaxy Sapphire, I, I use that technique there with the uh, gray tone markers and um, Gosh, it, it just worked out so, so beautifully. So yeah, I definitely, I definitely recommend using, uh, trying out markers with your colored pencils. Yeah, it's starting to look, starting to look pretty good. Add a little bit of uh, orange to it, and hopefully this will kind of make it sit into the scene a little bit more. I don't want to use too much on the back because if you've never done landscape landscapes or backgrounds before, you want to kind of keep things in the back desaturated uh, just a little bit, and then as you come closer, you want to saturate it more and more. I think I've said that in a few of my um, recent tutorials. Oh, and uh, speaking of tutorials, so the the new tutorial coming out this week, uh, I'll have the time lapse for the drawing on Wednesday, 
And then Friday will be the voiceover tutorial. Um, it's going to be a tutorial on feathers. Uh, and I'm going to be drawing, if you can kind of see it, it's this bullfinch that's right here behind me. Um, it's just a super fat, fluffy bird. And uh, I chose it because it's super fat and fluffy. And it has a lot of feathers. And the tutorial is on coloring feathers with colored pencils. So yeah, that's why I chose that particular bird. And uh, yes, so there's, there's uh, next week's tutorial for you. And the following week, or this week's tutorial, and uh, next week's tutorial is going to be on drawing black fur. So if you're interested in doing that, um, be sure to check that tutorial out when it comes. It will be the time lapse that will be next Wednesday, and the voiceover tutorial will be on Friday. And if you have any uh, tutorial ideas that you'd like me to cover, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will do my best to put them in the schedule of tutorials. I, I don't have anything really planned um, past next week actually, which um, I need to change. So yes, if you have any ideas, feel free to let me know because I'd love to uh, make the tutorials that people are interested in seeing. then so I think my last color here is just going to be white on these mountains and that's going to create the little a bit of fog down at the bottom I'm just gonna kind of do little circles and work it up and then I I'm gonna use um, paint thinner um, odorless odorless mineral spirits whatever you want to call it um, to just blend out these colored pencils and when you when you do this on top of markers you want to um, you want to be sure that you that you uh, dry off your brush quite a bit you, do, you don't want to have a lot of uh, paint thinner on it when you blend it because the surface of the paper becomes really really smooth after you lay down a coat of markers that it takes almost no um, effort to to blend the colored pencils out and so you want to make sure you're careful with that and I'm going to go ahead and uh, sign off from here so I'm just going to finish these mountains up and then I guess I'll save this uh, this area here and the silhouettes for next week but anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like. Let me know in the comments what you want to see in the next one and um, what you want to see as far as tutorials or anything like that. Um, and if you're new to my channel, uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for checking out the video. And I'll see you all next week. Take care. Peace.